Oh. What'd you go and do that for? Pushed out of the cave, told not to come back, not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. If you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. Right, but I'll need a moment. I'm, I'm frightened of them, so I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking, just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. Right. But, um... Place at once. They'll rush in and beat you to a pulp. You'll end up just like me. Oh.
You must leave this place at once. To remember her by, I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum. Then I suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? Thank you. You're very kind. I always wanted to be a seamstress like, like my mum. Then I suppose I, I can't just curl up and die, can I? Do you remember me? The bock that any human. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. Oh, we're going so soon. Please, do be safe on your journeys. Bok, this is ready to make a... Oh, please, 